All right, it's become a regular feature here, which doesn't belong and why. And look at the top five scoring defenses in the National Football League. The Ravens, hey, they can handle anybody except the Chiefs. They'll probably get another chance to do so in the postseason. So let's start on that note, which doesn't belong and why. Three teams allowing fewer than 20 points per game. Ravens, Colts, and Rams, Peter, which doesn't belong and why? You know, I got to say the Colts because – I got, I've got to see them have the staying power over the course of the season because I believe in the impact players um, you know, of the other teams more than I believe in the impact players of the Colts. But that's the great thing about a 16-game season. Everything gets fleshed out over time. You know, First of all, nobody's stopping Aaron Donald. We know that. Okay? And other than the Kansas City Chiefs, Nobody is fake, who are the Ravens' kryptonite, as Lamar Jackson says, but not just on offense, but on defense as well. Right now, to me, I've got to see more in more games out of the Indianapolis Colts to sort of break into that, uh, you know, to really be a top three defense in the league. See, I'm going to say the Rams for a very simple reason. Their four wins have come against the four teams of the NFC East. So... It really isn't a surprise when you give up nine to the Giants and 10 to Washington, teams that have offenses that aren't very good. It, it makes it easier to have a pretty good defense. We'll see how they do once they start playing some of these teams with higher powered offenses. They gave up 35 to the Bills when they faced them a few weeks ago. All right, top three quarterbacks in interceptions, Carson Wentz, Kirk Cousins, and Kyler Murray, which doesn't belong and why? I would say Carson Wentz because Carson Wentz, I believe, is in is in a slump. I think that the other two quarterbacks are probably just going to throw some interceptions. You know, we've seen it. Kirk Cousins in his career, he throws some interceptions. Kyler Murray, as of now, right now, is a guy who's going to throw it to the other team. But to me, I think Carson Wentz, if you believe, as I do, that he is fixable and all he is is in the first five games of this year and he's playing a little better now it, it, that he's in a slump i don't think he's going to be throwing interceptions at this rate uh in that he's thrown in the first third of the season in the last third of the season i'm going to say kyler murray just because i don't care how many interceptions he throws he's still electric he's fun to watch it's edge of the seat every time he gets the ball and I can't wait to see Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals in the real Monday night football game this week. Not the extra one with the Chiefs and the Bills, although the extra one's probably a better game. I'm excited for the reality that Kyler Murray's getting a national platform, getting a chance to show everyone what he can do. And I think the more that people see him, the more they appreciate him. So I can deal with interceptions from time to time because he can do so many other things so well. All right, last one, the top three rushers, which doesn't belong and why? Dalvin Cook, Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry. I mean, I could see any one of these three basically winning the rushing title. I'll say the one that doesn't belong is Derrick Henry because when he gets ahead of steam, nobody's tackling him. You know, I don't care. You know, he, he's just so powerful. And I mean, he doesn't belong in a good way. Um, you know, he's so difficult once he gets in the open field. I mean, the Josh Norman play is just going to be, unfortunately, on Josh Norman's uh, anti-highlight reel forever. And, and but, but listen, if you go back through his NFL career, you'll see 10 of those. Not exactly that glaring, maybe, with, with Derrick Henry, but he is just so incredibly strong uh, that I don't think there's anybody in the game like him right now as a running back. You could probably do some highlights of business decisions people have made like Darrell Rivas, like Earl Thomas avoiding the Josh Norman treatment. I'm going to say Dalvin cook, because for me to be a high end running back over the long haul, you got to be durable and healthy. And that's been the big flaw for Dalvin cook. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC sports.